is the third finger. You can do that. Given the given what we're gonna face at the B7, I'm gonna play my E minor with my first finger. The, the B is right across. The second finger on the third string. Oh my God, you just made an E minor chord. I just made an E minor chord. Trust me. Oh my God. See, we got, a, we got an E, a G, or an E, a B, and a G. Where a normal E minor triad would be E, a third from there is G, a third from there is B. So E, G, B. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't get to play. We don't get to form the notes here in a root position. So our notes are spaced out. Mm -hmm. We have to play a root five third. Okay. Oh. Now when we get to the B7, oh. uh, B7, I'm going to have my first finger on the B7 because I need to have a B, a D sharp, an F sharp, and an A. D sharp, now, A, yeah. B, F sharp, and A. My, my D sharp's over here. Fourth finger and catch my, my D right there, but I've already I was already on the E, so I made the decision to do this, which is a, a way of doing a seven chord. Here's my one. Fourth finger on the next string is the seven. So that that happens in one hand position. Third finger on the next string is the third. And what I did in the second measure, I gave you another version of it. B, F sharp with the first finger, third finger. So this versus that. Just having your fourth finger to do the seven or first finger to do the five. In the third measure of the B7, I gave you yet another one. B, the seven, the third, the five. So it, it changes up. Boom. So these are these are some optional things here. These are some different ways that you can voice that particular chord. Uh, and then I'm back to my E7, E minor, and then I have an E7. E7 is so my seven game is always going to be this. I'm always playing the root, the seven, the third. So that's going to be one, first finger, fourth finger, third finger on the next string. The root, the seven, the third. Wow. Minor chords are always first finger, first finger, second finger over three strings. Okay, so. get over to this next B7 at the at, at measure 16 and I really like this and I use it twice I'm gonna put my fourth finger on the B just to give myself some variety here I'm gonna play my fourth finger B first finger D sharp open A come back to that first finger that low one hmm. and now it sounds kind of bonky and weird but I love it Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm introducing you to a couple of basic shapes that make you play a minor chord, which is always if you can get your first finger on there and bar two neighboring strings with the first finger and then the th second finger on the third string. If you want to continue on, you can put your fourth finger on the last string. Okay, so just doing three strings and thinking about this tune, uh, looking at, at the D7 in measure 18. This is my D7, I got my first finger, my 
forefinger and third, because that's my little recipe for making a seven. seven chords. If I can get my first finger on the root, the neighboring string is fourth finger for the seven, then the next string, third, third finger for the third, for the major third. Music is patterns. Second finger is on the seven? Fourth finger. Fourth finger is on the seven. And the third... Third finger is on the third string. Third finger is on third, four. Last B7 there on measure 21, I do a little thing a little bit different. Oh. I put in the, the root, the third, the seven, the fifth, four. And then I, I do, uh, I, got, I have my, my E minor. I do a descending thing there just to give show you that you can also do this there's my e there's my b so this is the root the fifth the third the root and then for my final thing for the c i have my c my root and i'm doing a little flourish here and i'm going to end with that b that's in the first measure okay? oh i see it yeah and i'm so i've got e I'm sorry, C, E, G, B flat, because I'm spelling out the C7 chord. E, G, a C, E, G, B flat. And then I'm, I'm aiming for that B, so I'm going to play my C, B flat. Bop, and I'm going to end on the B. So I got this cool sound in a little riff. Bop. And this goes with a song that's kind of like, it goes. Let me see if I can play uh, El Chaco on the cello. I've been